I thought that the best way to introduce people to this would be through talking through some of the garments that I started with when I first started with latex. The first garment that I worked on was actually a straight jacket. Me making a straight jacket came about because of uh, my housemate. She is actually the person that got me into latex and she's in the photos wearing the straight jacket. A bunch of my theatre work had fallen through and we made an agreement that if she bought me the tools and materials because I had loads of time, I would make her a garment. So the first piece that I made, the straight jacket, I did draft a pattern and I just did it based off of my housemate's measurements and I just, because I knew it could be bigger because the belts would pull it in, I could just do really boxy, rough, easy measurements. The, I don't know if it's the second piece, it gets a bit muddy as to what order I did things initially in my, in my mind, I can't really remember. But one of the next pieces I made was an ink blot uh, draped circle skirt. So the pattern for this was literally a circle on a waistband. So I, I did some paper drafting onto the dress form to create the waistband. And then I draped, I had, I took a circle of latex, like a donut shape for the circle skirt. I put the ink blot print on it and then I played around and I figured out how I wanted to pleat and gather and where I wanted to tuck and turn the fabric so that I could create the shapes that I wanted. My main objective was actually to just be able to see the ink blot uh, more successfully because on the the gathers or the the fullness of the circle skirt didn't show the ink blot as much as I wanted it to be shown. So I put, they're not really darts, they were just weird gathers. I made these like little triangular pleats. It was very creative. I had a lot of fun. I really liked how it turned out. Um, yeah, so it is possible to drape. I would, what I have done when I have draped is rather than using pins, I've used tape. It can get a bit tricky, but it's totally doable. Another one of my initial garments, which is the uh, next method of creating a garment, is one that I duplicated. This was one of my other housemates at the time, and she had a dress that was this exact pattern, but made out of a kind of silver foil lycra mix material but she really liked how it was gathered she thought that it really flattered her waistline just lots of things about it worked for her in terms of the design and her shape and so i said it wasn't that difficult of a garment there weren't that many pieces to try and duplicate so i used the dress and i copied it exactly and that's what i made out of latex. So there are some differences between patterns for latex and patterns for non-latex garments, but I don't think it's really that different. It depends what you want to do and there are some kind of tips and tricks of things to look out for and avoid, but for the most part I think if you aren't sure what to do, my suggestion would be to pick a garment that you love wearing that makes you feel great, there's something about it that you think really suits you and your style or your body shape, and I would recommend, if it's not too complicated, to work with that garment as something to, as, as your project.